up y'all? So today I want to talk about washing hands. I feel like this is really useful information. We're going to talk about why we want to wash hands, when to wash hands, what to use, how to do it, and then I'm going to do a little demo. All right. So let's first talk about why we want to wash hands. I feel like most of us should know this, but the basic premise is we want to keep from transmitting germs to other people and to ourselves. And I feel like the place that we really want to be careful about is the area of the face because a lot of pathogens get into our system through this area. This is one of our first interfaces with the outside environment where things have a potential to get inside of us. A lot of the pathogens that we're exposed to that are problematic tend to replicate in the back of the throat and maybe sometimes in the lungs. And, um, and I feel like the skin is a, a, a really strong natural barrier, all right? So the skin is designed to be in contact with the environment and to keep things out. We have a very healthy, or supposed to have a very healthy microbiome at the level of the skin. Um, we have a lot of good guys there, you know, bacteria, beneficial bacteria and microorganisms that are helping us defend ourselves, right? But this, the face area is one of our uh, few interfaces with the outside environment where things have a potential to get into our system, okay? Now, when do we want to wash hands? And again, this might be common sense, but let's just go through a list. Um, before, uh, during, and after preparing food, right? Before eating food, before and after caring for someone who is sick, before and after treating a cut or wound, after using the toilet, or if you're like me, I like to wash my hands before using the toilet because I feel like the rest of my body is pretty clean and I want to keep it that way. Um, after changing diapers or dealing with a child that has been using the bathroom, after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing, after touching an animal, animal feed, or animal waste. After handling pet food or pet treats, especially if it's raw. After touching the garbage. And, most important because of what we just mentioned, before touching your face. All right? So especially if you're in a situation and concerned about something going around, like the flu or something else, um, Any time that you plan on touching your face, picking your nose, eating, doing anything that involves putting your hands on your face, then that would be an indicator to wash your hands. All right. Now, let's talk about what to use. All right. I am not a big fan of hand sanitizers. All right. Hand sanitizers obliterate the microbiome on your hands. All right. Hand sanitizers do what you, to your hands what taking antibiotics does to your internal system. All right, so you're not just killing the bad guys, you're also killing the good guys. And a big part of our immune system and this response, this protective barrier is the microbiome. All right, so the purpose of soap is to um, dislodge um, the different things that are inside our skin and in the crevices and things so that we can wash that down the sink, all right? So soap is used to clean, and it's usually a combination of um, some kind of a fat and oil. It has a base in it, and it has what is known as surfactants, right, which are, are designed to dislodge things from the surface of the skin. Um, it also helps to emulsify things, and basically it kind of traps particles and traps pathogens and germs and organisms in the soap, in the suds, and then you're supposed to wash that down the sink. Right? So ideally what you're using is something that is just a soap and it is not antibacterial, antimicrobial. And even if you're using hand sanitizers, I feel like people get a false sense of security by you know, covering their hands in a hand sanitizer and walking away. If you're going to use a hand sanitizer, the same process applies, meaning you have to dislodge. The friction is what's important. I'm going to talk about how to do it here in just a second. Um, but humans have been using soap for thousands of years. Um, and I can't remember uh, what the earliest uh, date or evidence of it is, but I think it was somewhere around like 3000 BC or something like that. So, um, so again, not a big fan of hand sanitizers and antimicrobials. The purpose of soap, the purpose of washing the hands is that soap is supposed to be a surfactant. It's supposed to emulsify things. We're supposed to scrub and work up a lather and then that is dislodging things from our skin, including germs, including pathogens and dirt and grime. And then in that dislodging process, those things are trapped inside the suds, and then we wash that down into the sink. All right. So I am a big fan of using um, like just relatively pristine soaps. Uh, I think one of the most accessible ones that we have that has a really good rating on EWG 
um, is the uh, Dr. Bronner's, the all one uh, versions, right? So any of those are traditional soaps or they're scented with essential oils, which is perfectly fine, okay? But even if you're using something like ivory or something, I think anything that's gonna work up a lather that's not antimicrobial, okay? So the way that you wanna wash hands, I'm not sure if we've heard this or not. The way that we wanna wash hands is you wanna wet your hands with some clean water. It doesn't have to be warm, it can be cold if you want. And then you're gonna lather your hands up by rubbing some soap in between your hands and you're gonna lather your hands and scrub your hands on the back and on the front and you're gonna do this for at least 20 seconds, all right? 20 seconds, if you haven't heard this before, is enough time for you to sing through the happy birthday song twice. All right, so you are um, lathering, you're scrubbing the back and the front of your hands, and, um, and the friction is super important because the friction is what is dislodging a lot of the pathogens and, gr and grime and, and dirt and things like that, right? So then after you've done that for 20 seconds, you wanna rinse your hands underneath clean water, and then you wanna dry your hands. So uh, one of the questions that I've gotten about, it, what if you're using a bar of soap and everyone's using that bar of soap? Well, it's perfectly fine because the soap is designed to dislodge stuff and then you're rinsing things down the sink, right? So you're, the last thing that you touch is not the soap. The last thing you should be doing is rinsing your hands of all the different suds and things that are on top of your hands, okay? All right, so let's do a little demo. I'm gonna sing through a couple of versions of Happy Birthday and show you how long it takes, all right? This is 20 seconds. All right, y'all, so now we're gonna do a washing hands demo. First, we've got my favorite soap, which is Dr. Bronner's. I think this is the only one that smells really good. All right, so the first step is to wet your hands. The water doesn't have to be warm. Then, we're gonna lather up with the soap. And then, remember the friction is the important thing. We're gonna scrub for 20 seconds. Just enough time to sing Happy Birthday twice. So I got my own two little Happy Birthday songs we're gonna sing. Happy birthday to you, Ashley, do you have to poo? You look like you have to, and you smell like it too. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, beef, butter, and bacon are good for you. Bread, pasta, pastries are in the trash. Happy birthday, eat real food. All right, so remember the important part of that is the friction, we got the suds, we're dislodging all the grime and the dirt and ideally, theoretically, the pathogens. Now, all we wanna do is rinse this down the sink. Boom, and then you dry your hands, you wipe it on your butt, and you're, no, just joking, you're gonna use some clean paper towels or something like that. All right, so. Hope that was useful. If you want to use those lyrics, feel free to. They are not copyrighted. Actually, they are copyrighted, but you can use them. All right? Keep it real.